Laying a solid foundation for the future may mean building up for one Nashville high school. There's a new idea in place tonight that could help students and cut down on traffic in a notorious trouble spot. News Channel 5's Todd Walker is over the smart screen with more on this dramatic idea, Todd. Well, Rory and Jessica, this is just one of the ideas being considered for Hillsborough High School, but the design discussed tonight would cut the property in half. It would add a road through the middle of the existing property and build a six story school and also a parking garage below sports fields and leave the rest of the property to be sold off or redeveloped. This is a design focused conversation. As Nashville schools continue to age and the population continues to grow, planning for the future takes some thinking outside the box. So we're looking at at least a year in the future. And Two schools in particular are the topic of discussion tonight, Hillwood High School in Westmead and Hillsboro High School in Green Hills. This is just one idea what could be possible in addition to renovating the current space. At the monthly so urban design forum, Metro school officials and site planners showed off what could be the future, moving Hillwood to the same site as Bellevue Middle School. That was the other thing that was very appealing about this site is, you know, you can have shared resources. The spot would move the school to the population center as opposed to Hillwood's current location on the edge of the school cluster, and it would create what designers called a civic center. The biggest challenge was what to do with Hillsboro High School. We were asked to look at how we might could relocate the school on a smaller parcel than it's now located on. After dozens of designs, planners finally landed on one that would cut the property in half, allowing new roads to be built, which would take school traffic off of Hillsboro Road and leave large portions of land that could be developed into something else or sold. And that means building up. And you have sort of a section of it with the double height space on the bottom. That's your gym, and then those are your classroom floors. None of the plans are set in stone, but they are certainly out of the box. So renovating the current schools is not off the table, but to renovate either of those schools, which are now 60 years old, it would involve gutting them, essentially starting over again. All the plans will have to go before the school board and Metro Council before any decisions are made or construction can begin.